What's up, sugar junkies? Checking in on day set. Oh. Wow, I look good. I think. Could it? Yeah. You know what? Hey, guys, I, I think. Hold on a minute. Wow, I look good. Honey, come see how good I look. I think my fitness journey's over, guys. Um, sorry, I guess I'm out, I guess I'm done. What's up, sugar junkies? I've now gone 10 weeks. We're on day 71 of sugar sobriety. Many of you have gone on this journey with me at different stages. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and get to know me and come with me on the rest of the journey. The most exciting part is yet to come. Before we get into everything, I will say this has been another fantastic week. We've made progress in both weight and waist. Why don't we go to the scale in the gym and then we'll have a little chat when I get back. What's up guys, week 10 at the gym, day 71. Took a lot of work to get to where we're at today, but I think that the results are finally really, really starting to show through. Um, you know, you can compare me to the side-by-side -side here. Let's start with that. You're gonna see, I've lost now. Man, I'll put the math up there. It's, I've lost a lot. Is it like 32, 33? Quite a bit. I've done pretty good on the weight front and the waist is even better. This is what I'm most happy with. I'm really starting to chisel out. Don't get me wrong. I still have a pretty healthy gut as you can see in the opening uh, montage or the opening intro, but it's, it's come down a lot. You can compare me to what I, what I was a while back and obviously I've lost quite a bit of weight. You can see that I'm starting to get some muscle here and muscles coming out and I couldn't be happier. I think I've lost now, I've gone from a 46 and a half inch waist down to a 38 inch waist, which is still a big waist. Like that's, you're gonna have a hard time finding jeans that fit at 38, but you can. Unfortunately, you know, I still need to get down to about a 32 to be somewhat kind of in the normal category for my height, but it's coming along nicely. I couldn't be happier. So what exactly did I do this week differently? Well, here's a little clip. Absolutely perfect day for a walk or a run, but I'm not in the running category just yet. Soon though. See you guys, have a good day. So, you know, I got at least 10,000 steps in every day. I, I took a nice long walk home from work and a, a nice long walk to work, just about, I think almost every day this week. So I managed to get my steps in. I think that really helped a lot. Uh, more importantly, as we'll talk about in the challenge, I got a skipping rope. This is what I would like you guys to do. It's an excellent, excellent cardio workout. Skipping is a killer and by no means is my cardio where I want it to be. Ideally, what I would like to start doing are three rounds or three minute rounds of skipping. 
After those three minutes, you stop and rest a minute and you see how many rounds you can do. Ideally, you could do 12 if you're perfectly fit. I'm not one of those guys. I'll tell you right now, how many rounds can I do? Mm, half a round, not even half a round. I can do like a minute and a half of skipping and then I am dead, dead. A minute and a half might even be pushing it. Let's see what I can do on the skipping rope. So, you know, if I fail miserably at this, my excuse is that I have a mic on and it makes it a little more unwieldy. hit 100 I lost count but as you can see my cardio sucks it will get better with time though I'm gonna keep pushing that Woo! so as you can see guys I didn't die of a heart attack thank goodness but my cardio needs a lot of work so what I've been doing is just pushing a minute minute and a half as long as I can go and trying to add that up to 10 minutes throughout the day that's it. I have one of these in the gym. I have one of these at home. I can do it any place. Nice thing about a skipping rope, it's cheap. I got like two on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I'll link it in the description below. It's nothing special. It just does the job. You can adjust the length to whatever works for you. In the coming weeks, I'm going to do more of this. I really want to start hammering away at the rest of this waist and get it down to where it belongs. I can almost see the light at the end of the tunnel now. So I know that I'm getting to closer to the goal that I want, that I envisioned when I started this, which is back to where I was a couple years ago. And you know, when you get older, that gets harder to do, but I still think that I can achieve it. So that's it for this week, guys. So, you know, if your knees can handle it, that's a big asterisk. I would highly suggest to try getting a skipping rope. That's actually the challenge for this week as well. And check-in day would not be complete if we didn't have a visit from Fathead. That's me on day one. Not saying that I don't have a fat head still, but I lost a lot of weight off of it, as you can see. I mean, you just look all up in here, down in here. I wish I would have measured my neck on day one, because I'm pretty sure I probably would have lost more on my neck than on my waist. But whatever. All right, pal, we'll see you again next week. So last week I started reviewing small YouTubers who are, I am subscribed to and I am a fan of. My YouTube channel this week are also my favorite channel name probably on all of YouTube. Too Fat, Too Furious. They are a husband and wife team. They are absolutely adorable. They got great chemistry. They are just wonderful to watch. And it just, honestly, when they come out with a video, it just makes my day a little bit happier. It's just nice. It's like really fun following them on their journey. Here's a little clip of them. Lots of tropica. If I diet or not, I don't care. I will have it. It's only got two calories. No, no, it's got a lot of calories and I think. But we don't know now, so now we can't say, so we can just drink it. Yes. And if you're on holiday, you don't count calories, so yes. Yeah, it's against the rules. <laughs> yeah. But here it's water, water. I like mm. water. And you, Diet Coke. Diet Coke for me, yeah. doorways um, they're not high so it doesn't look like the people were very big way back then as you can see their chemistry is unbelievable and every video is just a joy to watch and you get to see some really beautiful scenery of Ireland too which I think is pretty cool anyway you should check them out too fat too furious I will leave their channel link in the description below give them a view they deserve it and they, they put out really good content if you didn't check out my other video this week, we talked a little bit about how society and even people in your life just don't care that you're sugar addicted, addicted to food, that you have a binging problem. It makes everything a little bit more difficult. Uh, just to recap, I, you know, the most important takeaway from all of this is you need to shut out those outside voices that do not matter. I've seen other fitness YouTubers get, you know, fat shamed and things like that, but you, we can't change those people. Those people are idiots. I agree. But but you just like don't even waste a minute like a, any of your energy on them because it's not worth it. Those people are never going to change. Their worldview is their worldview and just let it exist out there in the ether and, and don't absorb it. Let it bounce off you. It doesn't matter. 
Now, the people in your life are a little bit harder. You just want to make sure that the ones closest to you understand that this addiction is real. If you can convince them, it'll make your journey much easier. Remember, the good weather is here. Get moving. Get outside. Do everything you can. Any excuse you can to just kind of move your body. If you're in the three-week challenge portion of all this, where you're just trying to quit sugar, take it easy. Just get hydrated and get some sleep. Don't put too much on your plate. Once you're through that and things are feeling a bit better, get outside. The weather's so nice. You don't want to miss this. It's, it's finally, especially during this pandemic, honestly, it feels so good to just get outside and, and do something. The, I don't know where you live, but in Canada where I am, winter is a bear. And it's just so nice when it ends because it feels like you're, you're getting out of prison. Just want to thank everyone who's come along on this journey. We're already over 180 subscribers, which I couldn't have, honestly, had no idea what I was, what was really going to happen when I first started this thing up. I was like, maybe I'll get like 20 or 30 people if I'm lucky. But it's been incredible. And I've had some incredible stories from some of you guys. That's why that Discord channel that I set up has been really nice. Andy and Patty, I'm looking at you guys. These guys shared their stories with me and they're incredible. And they're going through the exact same things as I've gone through. Like the exact. And we started sharing our stories and it was so good. It was just like meeting kindred spirits, man. It, it was fantastic. I'm sure there's more of you guys out there. If you want someone to share your stories with, you'll find really nice support on there. And it's all, it's all people who've been through the same stuff that you have. So when you're in the real world and you're trying to tell family and friends about this stuff, they just do not get it. And the people who are going through it do. So, you know, use that resource. It's there for you. It's free. It's just, it's something that we can all benefit from, I think. But again, thank you so much for subscribing. Again, over 180 people in this short of amount of time. I would have never guessed it. I'm glad you're on board. I appreciate your support. Please like and share. And uh, we'll keep growing this thing and, and get more and more people here so we can support each other. Thank you very much. You guys have a fantastic week. And remember, life is so much sweeter without sugar.